do some plowing. He's got me hooked up. The Lord's great. And uh, 
That song said he's an on time God. Some of those promises are ours. Amen. And we say, oh, well, somebody got a prayer through. And I'm going to tell you what God honors is faith. Amen. Somebody makes up their mind God's keeping his word and I'm going to receive it. Amen. They that come to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder. He can't lie. That kind of a faith gets something from God. Glory. A little woman had an issue of blood 12 years and couldn't be healed of any. But she said, if I could but touch his garment. Crowds scrouged her way through the multitude and touched him. And Jesus said, somebody's touched me. And he, they said, everybody's touched you. Virtues have gone out of my body. You can touch God by faith and something will happen. Somebody will know about it. <laughs> Somebody will know about it. When people believe God. Jesus was going along and he come out of his own country over into another country and a man met him and said, My servant lieth at home grievous tormented. And Jesus said, I'll come down to heal him. The man said, I'm not worthy to come unto my house, but just speak the word. And my servant will be healed. Jesus marveled a little bit and he said, I hadn't found that greater faith, no, not in Israel. But this man said, I've got soldiers unto me and I say to one, go and he goes, and another come and he comes. And he recognized that the Lord had power. If he said go, it had to go. I'm going to tell you something. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, whose arms is not short and whose power is not weakened, no respect for a person, he can move today. Whoa, whoa. I got to stop that. He can move today. Glory. We're serving a living God. The people bowed down and worshiped all kind of junky idols, but... Paul met some of them and he said, you don't know who you're worshiping, but I know I'm a servant of true and a living God. I'm a servant of a living God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. All the marvelous things that you see that the Lord has created and made. People say, well, there's not any God. But the, I read about them in this word. He said, the fool said in his heart, there's no God. Man, you don't have to be too smart to know that we didn't make ourselves. We didn't make ourselves. There's nothing that we can do to redeem ourselves. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth him should not perish but have everlasting life. Glory. Believing in him. Believing in his name. A fellow came to Jesus and said, What can I do to inherit eternal life? said, believe on him who he has sent. Believe on him. We believe on him tonight. We're here with one mind and one accord. And I can tell you, God can move. He's concerned. He's mindful. You go through trials and temptations and troubles in this world, but I want you to know as long as we got a promise that he'll not leave us nor forsake us, but he'll be with us, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. When Jesus hung on that cross and he shed his blood, he suffered without the gates of Jerusalem that he might sanctify the people with his own blood. And he said, it's finished. It's finished. The prophet had said, this man Jesus is going to come into the world. He'll be a man of sorrow, acquainted with grief. He'll be led as a lamb to the slaughter and he opened not his mouth. And with his stripes, we'll be healed. This took place. This took place at Calvary. We was healed. It's ours. We just have to take a hold of it. Christ paid for the sins of the world, but the world's not accepting it. He's holding out life, but they're not taking a hold of it. This is for whosoever will. The angel that came down and pronounced the birth of Christ, he said, Goodwill to all men. A Savior's been born to all men. 
It's not God's will that any should perish, but to come to repentance. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You can work and pray and give everything you got. Paul said, I could even give my body to be burned. It'd profit nothing. But faith in Jesus Christ can make a difference. Believing on the Lord. Believing on the Father. He sends the sun on time, the moon on time, gives the sunshine and rain, blesses the good and the bad. He's a God that's in control. He's a giver of life. He's a giver of life. A lot of people don't understand this. They say, well, it's just a good feeling or you like to be in a good congregation. But listen, we need a personal experience with God till we can say, I've got a heavenly father. Amen. I know who I am. Who? I've got a heavenly father. Amen. Jesus called from 70 around and sent them out and gave them power and they came back rejoicing and said, the spirits are subject unto us through thy name. He said, rejoice not in that, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Glory. There may be a lot of people that don't know who you are, and that don't make any difference, but if your name's written in heaven, if your name is written in the heaven, you are a child of the king. And this word said, remember the Lord and forget not his benefits. There's benefits in serving God. You're a child. He watches over, cares for, and lives wants to help us. We limit the Lord a lot of times. But we've got to be faithful. I was talking to David a while ago and I said we're spoiled. We're used to all this push button stuff instantly. If your TV don't come on a little bit, you're ready to kick it and throw it out. <laughs> we want it right then. But sometimes they take some time waiting on the Lord. Daniel prayed and prayed and prayed and he had to keep waiting. He didn't understand it, but he wasn't getting an answer from God. His prayer was hindered. You know, sometimes the Lord might want to see if we hold on, if we're going to have faith in him, if we're going to believe that he'll do it. Abraham had a promise made to him and it didn't happen overnight. But the word said he staggered not at the promises of God. The Lord spoke it, it had to happen. He spoke it and it's got to happen. Faith in this book, faith in this word is what gives us life. When we take a hold of these promises, they're eternal. They're eternal. We can have Jesus Christ if we invite him into our hearts and life. He's eternal. And because he lives, we can live. Oh, glory to God. This is a great plan of salvation. The Spirit of God can convict hearts and cause them to realize their need and they confess with their mouth and believe in their heart. No man's going to accept the Lord till he realizes he's a sinner. He needs help. Till he's willing to cry out to God. But even when it come down to the thief on the cross, he said, Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. The woman that was in Samaria, he said, if you'd asked me, I'd give you living water. If you'd asked me, I'd give you living water. Wretched, miserable, lost. But that song said he reached way down. He made it possible that whosoever will now, Jesus got in, accused and abused for saying, I'm the son of God, and for eating with sinner people. And he said, well, they that are whole don't need a physician, but they that are sick. He said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. The only person that needs something is those that are lost, undone. They have needs. Blind Bartimaeus sat beside the road and he heard a multitude coming along and he said, what meaneth this? 
They said, Jesus of Nazareth is coming by, and he began to cry out, Thou son of David. He had heard something about Jesus from Christ, Nazareth. He knew where he should come from. He knew who he was. Have mercy on me. And Jesus heard him. What if he just cried a few times and gave up? What if he'd listened to those around him and said, Be quiet, don't trouble the master. But he cried out the more, Thou son of David. He wouldn't be quiet. He wouldn't be hindered. He wouldn't stop. He was determined. He's desperate. I'm going to tell you something. People need to get desperate. They've got a soul that's going to stand before just God one day. Ooh, hallelujah. Stand before just God. And I was looking at that word, and he said, many will come up before me and say, haven't we done all these great things in your name? And he said, I don't know Depart from me. And he said, they'll come from the east and the west and the north and the south and sit down in the kingdom of God with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But the children of the kingdom's going to be cast out. You know, Jesus came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him gave he power to become the sons of God. Jesus Christ came that we could have life and have it more abundantly. And he made it possible that the Gentile people could have salvation. He told the Samaritan woman, if you'd asked me, I'd give you living water. If you'd asked him. She didn't understand it. How come this man that's a Jew talking with me is a Samaritan because they don't have any dealings? Jesus said, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that speaks with you, you would have asked of him and he'd give you living water. Asked of him. Well, that's not asking too much. This word says, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Ask and it shall be given. We have a promise that we can have something from God. Cried out to the Lord. We need to know that when we cry out to him, he hears us. He knows. He knows what we ask, what we need before we ask it. But he can't move till he has some faith involved. They that come to God must believe. Lord, this is your word, and I believe it, and I take a hold of it. I accept this as your truth and your power, your anointing. Jesus went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, and they wanted to kill him. They said, this man doeth many mighty miracles, and we can't deny it, but we've got to stop it. Could you imagine that? He made a feller well, and he got into, the man walked around on the Sabbath day and carried his bed, and they wanted to kill Jesus for it. He raised ladders from the dead and they didn't like that. They wanted to kill him for that. Don't do your job too good. Somebody will want to kill you. <laughs> what about that? We've got to stop it. We cannot deny it. This miracle has been performed, but we've got to get it stopped. There's people in the world who don't care how much... You go to church as long as you don't worship in the spirit. Woo! They don't want you worshiping in the spirit. But the word said the Father seeketh such to worship him. Worship in the spirit. The Sadducees and the Pharisees were so religious that they condemned Christ. But they missed the mark. They didn't have the love and the compassion. They wasn't accepting Christ as a Savior. We've got to have a, con a faith that says he's a redeemer. He's a child of God. He's God's own son. We believe that God so loved the world that he gave his son. I'm going to tell you, it took a lot of love for God to send his son knowing what he was going to have to go through, knowing what he was going to have to suffer. That's how much the Lord loves lost, dying people. 
He don't want you to perish. Hell was prepared for the devil and his angels, but all people and nation that forget God. He tells us about a broad road and a narrow road. And many go down the broad road, drift right off, and fall into eternity lost. It's no, the Lord has no pleasure in that. He didn't create man for hell. Hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. But all people in the nation that forget God, they have to go there. The Lord didn't send them there. Man rejects the Lord and goes his way instead of the Lord's way. But I'm here to tell you that we have a God that's real and he loves and he cares and he's mindful of the need of the hour. He wants us to have a love and a compassion for a lost and dying world and reach out, lift up Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. I hope the people around the world can understand that no other name given under heaven whereby a man can be saved. You've got to go through Jesus Christ. He is the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. People say, well, it don't matter as long as you're sincere in what you're doing and what you're believing. It matters. It matters. A lot of good people in the world is going to be lost at the end of the day. They're going to come up before the Lord and say, haven't we done these great things in your name? And he'll say, depart from me. I don't know you. But Lord, you've eaten and drank in our presence and you've taught in our streets, but I don't know you. That's a sad day. And people miss out and lose their soul. Satan don't care how you miss just as long as you miss. But if we don't do the will of the Lord, we can miss. Jesus said, if you'd be my disciples, take up your cross daily and follow me. Take up your cross. And he said, you'll be hated for my name's sake. You'll be hated for my name's sake. The United States of America has done more for people around the world than any other nation, but they're hated and they say, away we, we don't want you. Get out. We want to destroy you. We want to kill you. We're hated for the name of Jesus. But Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His arms is not short and his power is not weakened. No respect for a person. And he's put forth salvation that we might have life and have it more abundantly. To get something from the Lord is taking him as word, getting a hold of this faith in God. Jesus was an ordinary man till the spirit and the power and the anointing come on him. And when John baptized him and he saw light from heaven, a dove looked like a, in the form of a dove set upon Jesus, from that time on he was a different man. A voice said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. And he, Jesus returned and said, the spirit of the Lord's on me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, open the blinded eyes, raise the dead. He has anointed. When a man was going to be set forth as a king, he was anointed. The Spirit of the Lord makes a difference. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed. Oh, glory to God. Glory. He has anointed. We need to invite the anointing of God to have its way in our hearts and in our lives and in our services. When you glorify and praise the Lord and say, Lord, let the heavenly powers fall. Let your anointing fall upon us. He'll be in the midst. He'll be in the midst and things will take place. These benefits that we're not taking a hold of. We get some a little once in a while, but I'm going to tell you, he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. And if we'll hide this word in our heart, we won't sin against God and we can have blessings from the Lord. 
The psalmist David said, I'll look unto the Lord from whence cometh my help. He knew who was his maker, who was his creator. We know today that he is our redeemer, our savior, our soon coming king. We're seeing the fulfillment of the word, these wars and rumors of wars, pestilence and famines and earthquakes, troubles. And Jesus said, that's a beginning of sorrow. But look up, your redemption draweth nigh. He's coming back for a people that are looking for him, waiting for him. This word tells us that people will say he's delayed his coming and go back doing like they did before. He's delayed his coming. But the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, but long-suffering that man wouldn't be lost. He's given us another opportunity. There's a song that, wait a little longer, please, Jesus. He's reaching out, trying to get gather in a few more souls. He wants us to be up and about the Father's business. The word said the fields are wide unto harvest, but the labors are few. Pray ye therefore the, the master that he would send forth labors into his vineyard. Pray ye therefore that the Lord would send in labors. Let's do everything that we can do to uplift the kingdom of God. Who would think about the people that Nathan has witnessed to and been a blessing to well, they didn't look like they were worthy of it. Didn't look like they, they'd been doing right. Jesus came to redeem and to save. When you become a new creature in Christ Jesus and old things are blotted out, praise God, you can lift up your head and say, I'm a child of the Son of God. I'm a child of the King. I have a Heavenly Father. When we can say we have a Heavenly Father, we can take a hold of these promises. We've been grafted in by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are in the family. Oh, glory to God. They came to Jesus and said, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom of this time? He said, it's not for you to know the time of the season that the Father's put in his own power, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall receive power. He called his disciples to him and anointed them and gave them power over all devils and demons and to heal sick. There's power, power for service. People don't know it, but Jesus said, when the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you're going to receive power. Oh, glory to God. You'll receive power. You can go forth and do the works that Jesus done, that he's given us to do. One scripture said that he sent forth his disciples and he was with them confirming his word. Confirming his word. If you are going forth in the name of Jesus and in the will of God, he'll be with you. The spirit of the Lord will be with you. He'll anoint you. You can be victorious. You can be a blessing. You can gather in some souls. Let's use every method that we have and we can to lift up Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. You know, it's a thrilling thing when you see lives change, when you can reach out there and rescue somebody from a burning hell. That's what it's all about. Going into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. Let them know that there's a Savior that loves and cares and he will pardon and forgive. I guess my time has come and gone. I'm going to have foot washing over here. And sometimes that can take a little time. It has been known to get out of hand. <laughs> oh. But it's a... It's a it's necessary because Peter said, if you don't, you don't wash me. He said, Peter, I don't wash you. You don't have no part with me. Peter said, "Not Lord, not just my feet, but my head and my hands. <laughs> Glory. Whatever, we need to be washed in the blood and be 
cleanse and be a temple of the Holy Ghost, living godly in this present world. Living godly in this present world. Pure and undefiled religion is this, to keep to visit the widows and the orphans in their affliction and keep yourself unspotted from the world. Unspotted from the world. The world don't have nothing that's worth losing your soul for. Whoa. Whoa. People have hang-ups and habits, and they say, oh, I just can't get by without that. It's not worth losing your soul for. It's not worth losing your soul for. We can't allow something to be between us and God, or we don't need to have a bunch of junk hanging on us. Paul said, lay aside every weight and every sin that does so easily beset you and run this race with patience. Whoa. There's no place for a cursed Christian to be loaded down with the cares of this world. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind and be ye filled with the Spirit. Amen. Whoa, glory. I tell you, you can be filled with the Spirit. You can be filled with the Spirit. You can have the anointing of God. Amen. Praise God, if we've got that, we have on the armor to battle the enemy. Amen. We're more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory to God. Woo. No place to stop. Woo. Let's stand and glorify and worship the Lord. Just let his will be done. Let the power and the anointing of God have his way here tonight. And we'll go into the further part of this service. But glorify and worship the Lord. I tell you, he's in the midst and he can perform miracles. He can heal bodies. He can save souls. Whatever the need is, he's there. He's able. Amen. Praise God, he's able. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. This place is still anointed right here. The fire is right here. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost fire is in this place. The Holy Ghost fire is in this place. Glory to God. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We welcome your will to be done, your power to be manifest. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Is there any special need here tonight? If you come right along here, you can get it met, I believe. There's power here. <laughs> Glory. The power is here. Jacob went and made his bed and used a rock for a pillar, and he said, the Lord is in this place, and I didn't know it. He's in this place, and I know it. He's in this place, and I know it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 Praise his name. You believe he can do it. You believe he done it at Calvary. We, we, the spirit and the power and the Lord of God. Lord, honor this faith. <laughs> oh, Lord God, honor this faith. Honor this faith, Lord. Honor this faith. Oh, oh, Lord God. Lord God. Oh, Lord God. According to her faith, Lord, let it be done. Hallelujah. We thank you for it. We praise you for it. We take a hold of it. Lord God, let your will be done. Let your power be manifest. Glory to God. Thank you for the little vine healing. Oh, oh. Lord God. Lord God. Oh, glory to God. 
Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus reached out and he blessed the children. Suffer them to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Heavenly Father, these are yours. Lord, these are yours. Oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord Jesus. These children are yours. These children are yours. Lord, Heavenly Father, let your will be done in their lives. Use them. They have built the kingdom of God. Spirit of God. Lord Jesus, bless these children, Lord God. Bless these children, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help on help tomorrow if you give up today. Just so long to live Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 If you give Jesus. up today, Jesus. just hold Jesus. on a little Praise God. Okay. He said he has some more chemo to take. And the Lord's keeping him alive. <laughs> Heavenly Father, God, we thank you when we praise you. Lord God, we thank you when we praise you. We agree together, Lord God. We agree together. We smite this affliction in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we smite this affliction in the name of Jesus. We smite this in the name of Jesus. Lord God, let strength and power and healing flow flow into his body. Lord God, let the anointed fire of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, we love you. We praise you, Lord God. We welcome your will to be done, your power to be manifest. Glory to God. Lord Heavenly Father, God, we believe you. My Lord and my God, my Lord and my God, my Lord and my God, oh, my Lord and my God, 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 Lord, the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, oh, Lord God, Lord, we thank you when we praise you, we glorify your name, because we welcome you. Let the spirit and the power of the Lord and Lord God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, have your way, Spirit of God. 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 We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. For your honor and for your glory. For your honor and your glory. Glory to God. For your honor and your glory. Lord, we give you the honor. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. Glory. Praise you. Have the way, Spirit of God. Have your 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 way, Spirit of God. Oh, oh, Lord, my God. My Lord, anointing. Lord, the anointing. We claim 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 the anointing. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Praise His name.